This is an Asus based Intel NUC. This one is very cool. It's bare bones. It has a 12th gen processor, 12700H, which is very capable. What's cool is it has an Intel A770M, A770M, which is actually just the full desktop GPU with lower watts. So it's basically going to be the same. I actually have an A770 desktop GPU in there. Uh, 16 gigabytes RAM, 16 gigabytes of VRAM on that GPU, uh, Intel Core Ultra, whatever, a bunch of mixed <laughs> Intel Core uh, efficiency and whatever cores. Performance core should be good though. Uh, I'm very impressed. I'm very excited to test out this GPU. Uh, it's not the newest GPU, but the drivers have come a very long way with Intel to the fact that it's, I mean, it's been something that I used on and off since it first came out. And let's look at the thing. So we have our stand, you can stand it. So, I don't know. Uh, but there is feet, there are feet on the bottom. So you can just have it sitting like that uh, as well. So plastic there, plastic here, plastic there, plastic there, but it's very robust. It's pretty heavy, to be honest. I mean, it's pretty big for a mini PC, small for a computer in general, but it's big for a mini PC. Ventilation, ventilation, probably exhaust, big intakes on the bottom or the side, depending on how you stand it up. On the front, we have a, I guess that's an SD card, so maybe video editing type stuff, power, I don't know if that's a reset button, an LED of some kind, uh, Thunderbolt, so that's nice, you get Thunderbolt there, a uh, little headphone, a probably fast and slow uh, ASBA. Four more USB-A, all of them are going to be 10 gigabit, which is nice. Those are nice and quick. 2.5 gigahertz, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet, another Thunderbolt port, optical, just audio, HDMI, display port, display port, power, Kensington lock slot, huge exhaust. So this thing should be pretty sweet, to be honest, pretty decked out. The fact that it has things like Thunderbolt, and that's pretty, pretty amazing. Uh, Intel Arc GPUs are very good for creative types, uh, video editing, rendering, that kind of stuff. I mean, they're good for gaming as well, but they're very good for professional tasks. In fact, they punch above their weight. Encoding, that kind of stuff. Okay, so let's get inside of it, see what's going on. Okay, that looks cool. An angry skull, okay. Okay you in there and we'll start taking screws out it does so a giant piece of metal Ooh, and there's one two three uh thermal pads on there for i guess one two three nvm this thing has three nvm interesting so inside what do we have it's gonna be a mini pc type of deal so we have two uh sorry three nvmes one two three these two do nvme only this one does nvme or sata that's pretty sweet from a sata drive Wi-Fi is upgradable. Two sticks of RAM applicable, DDR4. So we got some team group RAM, DDR4. It's actually very easy to access that. I guess in theory, it would be actually pretty easy to get in and service the you know, thermal paste and that inside. Uh, taking out the PCB would not be too hard. Just take out some screws. Very well designed, to be honest, from Asus or Intel or whoever designed it. I mean, Intel, I guess, I don't know, does Asus make them for Intel? Okay, so let's get into some benchmarks now. I'm just gonna kill off a couple of these lights here. Uh, we'll start here with some Cinebench noise and thermals. We'll get the actual like performance after, but let's just see what we get here for that there. So we have our 12700H. Uh, this thing should run really well because it's a 12700H, which is a powerful CPU. But in a laptop, I mean, you're always gonna be fighting heavily against thermals. Uh, because of like thermal mass and fans. This thing has massive fans, so. My noise floor is around 32, 33. I also have the fans facing me. You can always turn them away. So uh, we're looking at about 84, 82, it's going down, the fans will kick up. So probably set around there. That's nothing for this chip here. Uh, score looks good. 17,384. It's fantastic for the CPU, honestly. Very good. It's the highest I've ever seen from this specific CPU. So it's about as loud as an Ultrabook. 
laptop. But also the fans are very large, like in diameter. And just, I guess, the design of them. There's no pitchy wine. It's almost just airflow. It's actually very... Like, it's just background noise, to be honest. So I'm very happy with the noise there. It looks like it's going to be in the mid to high 80s. Probably just hang out there from now on. What I'm going to start here is just for the noise. Honestly, very quiet. Uh, in gaming and these type benchmarks, it looks like we're probably going to be sitting at 40-ish or so. A little bit noisier under full Cinebench, full uh, CPU load, but yeah, it looks like you're going to be at 40. Worst case scenario, 45, probably around 40, so that's pretty good there. Uh, so we were sitting at 84 max. Average was way lower. It's running cool, just put it that way. Where's the arc here? Where are you? There you are. Also very cool, so nothing there. So it's running very cool, to be honest. We'll just put it that way. So we're gonna do some game testing. Primarily what I'm gonna do is actually compare against the A770 desktop, which is there. Uh, and I wanna do that for myself, but I also wanna just show what this thing can do. Uh, I'm at 1440p. This game doesn't have ultra wide support, Final Fantasy Rebirth, but it's brand new. So I just put it in a windowed mode, which might kill some performance, but whatever, we'll live. So, uh, so far, honestly, pretty good. Let's come in here and check the settings. Two different scale, leave that on as it is. I went through a custom, so we're, this is not low settings. This is 1440p high, 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 high. Medium for textures, uh, shadow quality low, and fog low. These two make a huge difference. I don't know why, they just do. Okay, so after unlimited cutscenes, we're now in. Let's see what it's like in the city. These cities are usually pretty hard. Uh, so probably the, one of the worst areas I found in this game based on my already testing of the game. Uh, it's actually better in like fields and cities are kind of the worst. So this is probably one of the worst case scenarios here. And we'll kind of just see what we can get here. I expect the lows to be kind of bad just based on my experience in cities so far in this game. There's just a lot on screen. Yeah, so pretty good. Uh, I mean, this is the worst area of the game, these cities. It's running pretty close to the A770 desktop. A little lower, a little bit lower. The lows aren't quite as good, but it's lower watts. But overall, it's running very well. Look at that VRAM usage. 8.6 gigabytes of VRAM used just by the game. 10 gigabytes almost in general. So having a 16 gigabyte mobile chip is crazy. That's like 3080 Ti or 4090 mobile chips that have that much VRAM. So, yeah. You're never going to run out of VRAM on this GP, we'll put it that way. But I want to leave right now. Alright, let's try another game. Okay, now we'll really push it a little bit here. We're going to do a 1440p ultra-wide title here. Uh, again, this is well above 1440p. So, not really something you find on a laptop, but we'll do this is a desktop. So we'll do FSR performance to start. High ultra is kind of a bit much. Let's try just high. On the consoles like the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Series X, you can run this game at 30 or in like quality mode. You can put in balance, which is 45, target 45, and then performance is about 60. Uh, this is running, I guess, kind of in like the balance mode where it's around 45 up to 60. Again, this is a very hard area of the game. It's actually a really good performance for ultra wide. It's really good. Okay, so we're just just at normal 1440p now, not ultra wide. Everything else is the same. And go back in. Yeah, normal 1440p is better. Uh, ultra wide was it was just probably a little bit much. We were get, getting drops down a fair bit here. You know, it's not as bad. The lows are really good too. The split between the averages and the lows are more important in my opinion. Who cares if you have, you know, like 80 FPS if your lows are five. 
it's, it's going to be a horrible experience, depending on the game. But I'll take a 60-30 split any day. And this is, this is really good performance, to be honest. Very, very, very good. Okay, so my time with it is done. I'm sending this on to a friend. They're going to take it. The Intel NUC here. The, I guess it's an Asus Intel NUC. I don't know. Whatever. Intel Asus NUC with the Intel 12700H, good CPU, and a A770M GPU, which is a fantastic GPU from what I'm seeing. You're getting serious performance uh, for things like gaming, and you're going to get truly, absolutely outstanding performance for things like video editing and professional tasks. But someone might want to pick this up just as a little gaming machine, right? You're getting essentially, not essentially, you're getting literally a desktop A770 GPU, which, as I said before, is in my system. And then you're just cutting it down slightly. That's all you're doing in terms of watts. You're not cutting down anything else. Everything else is the same. You're just decreasing the watts, which just, just decreases the performance. You're not losing bandwidth. You're not losing VRAM. You're not losing anything else. So you just get a decrease. You just decrease the watts. The performance just goes down. It's just standard. So this thing is truly fantastic. It's all going to come down to pricing. Like I wouldn't pay three grand for something like this. But the price that I paid is crazy good to be honest, for what you get out of it. You're getting normally like a generic mini PC with just like an iGPU. And the A770M here, it's, it's massively out, gonna outperform any iGPU, even the best iGPU on the market. Uh, and it's something that if you can find on a good price, I got mine on eBay, if you can find it on a good price, I think it's something that's kind of a no brainer. If you're looking for something like this, as I said, fantastic product, very cool, very happy with it. I'd be keeping it, but it's going to my friend because uh, I'm gonna eventually be moving. I can't take everything with me. This thing is sick though.